What is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel and in this video we're going to be talking about the Dryad Kill Deer. Now this is a harness that is designed for tree stand hunters but it is very similar to a rock climbing harness but again there's a couple things that kind of separate this from your traditional style rock climbing harness and we'll kind of go over that a little bit later in the video. Now uh, you can see that I have made some modifications uh, to this harness already and again we'll talk about that a little bit later in the video because I will take you guys outside. I will show you how I use this when climbing a tree and in the tree stand uh, but I want to talk about uh, what this harness costs I want to talk about the specifications and then I also want to talk about what you get when you buy this harness now uh, real quick let's just talk about how much it is so this harness is roughly about 134 bucks uh, on Dryad's website and what you're going to get when you order this is you will get your G-hook leg straps, which are required for you to use uh, when utilizing this harness. Without these, you would not be safe in the tree. Um, obviously, you get the harness itself, and then you also get these additional straps, uh, which are optional. You don't have to run these but I have added them to the harness and we'll go we'll go over that a little bit later in the video when we're outside uh, and I'll tell you why. Now uh, as far as the specifications goes, uh, this thing is, is super lightweight, it's very minimalistic. Dryad advertises this harness at 15 ounces. Now I weighed it uh, with, the, with the paracord modification that I made the additional straps and then also uh, the G straps and I got 15.8 ounces so they're pretty spot on with their measurements. Now as far as like the weight rating goes, so the buckles rated for 18 kilonewtons, your lineman loops are rated for 4,000 pounds, uh, the belay is rated for 6,000 pounds and then the waist belt is also rated for 6,000 pounds. Now the entire system has a weight rating of 300 pounds so keep that in mind when you guys go to order this uh, and then there are uh, three different sizes that you can choose from a small medium and large uh, and they base that off of your waist size so make sure uh, that you guys are taking that measurement and, and checking that out before you guys place your order but from here let's go ahead let's jump outside I'm going to show you guys how I use this when climbing a tree and then also when them in my tree stand and then we'll talk about some of these modifications that I've made and why I made them. All right everyone so we are outside and as promised I'm basically going to run you guys through uh, the dry kill killdeer how I set this up and how I'm running it. So um, the best thing that I like about this is that it's a very minimalistic harness and it's no issue to wear this thing while you're scouting your way in or when you go to your spot um, it's not like a typical five point harness so you don't have everything running up the back of your back uh, creating hot spots now for me uh, as you can see i did add this pocket to the side and what i really like about it is i can just kind of slide this in and out of the way so as i'm walking to my stand i basically just slide it to the back it's not interfering with anything you know i'm not hitting my hand on it and then when i get to my tree i can go ahead and slide it to where i can access what's in here now inside this pocket i'm basically running my g-hook leg straps because they're not attached to the harness you actually have to put them on uh, and we'll go through that here in a second but just due to the fact that you're going to be really prone to lose these i would recommend either picking up a similar pocket like i got off amazon or dryad actually sells uh, pockets on their website that you can pick up but real quick i'm just basically going to run you down uh, what it would look like when i get to the stand and i mentioned before uh, that i am running uh, these hooks or these these additional accessory hooks uh, on my harness I basically keep them on there permanently I put some hockey tape on them just to ensure that they're not going to come undone as I'm walking out into the field uh, and the reason that I added these is because if you don't run these uh, the leg straps that you put on do have the tendency to kind of slide down on the back uh, and it does get a little bit of a little annoying as you're standing up and sitting down uh, in your stand so uh, basically uh, what this would look like for me is I would go ahead, open up this pocket, and like I said, I have my G-hook leg straps in there. Um, basically try to figure out the orientation so um, the hooks are actually sliding down. And what I mean by that is when you go to put this on, your hooks are sliding in versus the opposite way going up. Um, I don't know if that's the right way to do it, that's just the way that I do it. So uh, you, take, you take your G-hook leg straps, you run them through the belay, kind of position that so it's center. And then from here, I just reach down and tuck them under my leg, grab that strap, pull them right through that strap, and then just go ahead and hook right in. And then I just basically do the exact same thing to the other side.
and then once you have those hooked up you're basically your harness is on it's ready to go you know if it's too tight if you got extra layers on um, it's real quick that to to make some adjustments so you can kind of loosen these up a little bit and that's one thing that i really like about this harness is that it's very simplistic it's very easy to put on it's quick um, it's no hassle and you don't have a bunch of buckles that are constantly making noise as you're getting up and down the tree now um, from here i just basically go ahead i would attach my lineman's belt to my lineman loop and that's another huge selling point of the dryad is if you were to get like a traditional style rock harness they do not include uh your lineman belts loop so you'd have to figure out some way uh, to make a modification um, that's going to ensure that you're going to stay safe as you're climbing up and down the tree uh, whereas with the dryad they already come pre-installed and the weight rating is more than sufficient to keep you keep you safe now in that pocket i also keep uh, a second or third carabiner uh, and and then from here, basically all I'm gonna do is just go over to the tree. Basically, you know, assuming that I'm getting ready to climb, I go ahead, hook my lineman's belt on. And then again, with those lineman belt loops, um, you're, you're attached to the tree, you got both hands free. So you can go ahead, you can hang your sticks, hang your stand. Uh, for this lineman's belt, this is just some rope I got from REI. This is 11 millimeter static rope. Uh, I do have two carabiners that I picked up from REI and then also a Ropeman 1. Um, what I like about the Ropeman 1 is it's just easy to adjust, let slack in, take slack out, get, get close to the tree as you're climbing up and you're hanging your sticks and staying safe. Now for me, another thing um, that I get asked all the time uh, is what I carry in my seat pocket on the bottom of my Lone Wolf Custom Gear seat. Uh, and for me, and again, I just try to stay as, as efficient as I possibly can, is I keep my tree tether in there with another carabiner. So once I get my stand set, um, I'm always super big on safety. So I won't take my lineman's belt off until I'm connected to my tree tether, just to ensure that I'm always staying connected to the tree the entire time up, entire time down. Um, from here though, basically go ahead, set my, uh, set my, um, my tree tether, hook it into my belay, screw that closed so it's not going to accidentally open and then from here i'm basically safe to go ahead and unattach my lineman's belt and then i'm good to go ahead and step up into my stand and like i said the entire time uh, we are attached to the tree now keep in mind when you are running like a rock style a rock climbing harness um, depending on if you're a left-handed or right-handed shooter obviously you want to be able to shoot both sides of the tree so what i would do immediately is just turn 360 and position this to the point where I can still get to this side of the tree and still shoot the other side of the tree. Now, uh, my biggest complaint about running a traditional or a rock climbing harness or a harness similar to the Dryad Kill Deer is the fact that this rope is constantly hanging. Um, I probably have more than I need right here. So obviously I could shorten this, but what I'm doing uh, with this slack is I'm basically taking this the slack out of here and I'm tucking it back into this pocket and I'm just zipping it closed being that I have already positioned my Prusik knot to give me enough space uh, as far as like your tree tether you know you want to run that you know I run mine basically about waist high and then, like I said, I can go ahead, I can shoot both sides. And the one other thing that I, I will say, um, which is nice about the pocket, is I can go ahead, I can run this rope on the top side of this pocket. It keeps it out of the way. It's not going to continuously fall down by my wayside or down by my leg. So I can sit down, I can get up, I can turn both ways, and I don't have to worry about this rope constantly hanging down by my thigh here and kind of interfering. It is a little annoying. But like I said, overall, I really dig the Dryad Kill Deer. I like the fact that it's very minimalistic. It's very simplistic. Um, there's not a lot of buckles to it. It's not making a ton of noise. Um, you don't have the shoulder straps that always seem to kind of interfere uh, when you're drawing the bow. And then you don't have the tether hanging above you, which also kind of interferes when you're drawing the bow. Uh, I feel like this is definitely by far a way more comfortable harness to wear while up in the tree. Um, I like the fact that it's got the lineman belts already looped on it. I 
like the fact that um, I can wear this to my stand. It's not creating any hot spots. I'm not sweating on my way in. Um, but you know, like I said, overall, very simplistic, very minimalistic setup. Uh, if you guys have any other questions, you can always leave me a comment below and I will put links in the description where you can go and buy the kill deer and where you can also buy this pocket off of Amazon. I picked this up for like 15, 20 bucks, uh, but it's definitely something that I would highly recommend that you add. Uh, and then also, uh, the paracord, which I didn't talk about, I'm just basically using this as a way to attach or to carry my sticks up the tree um, when I'm climbing up. So, uh, like I said, any other questions, drop me a comment below. I'm happy to help. If you guys have not checked out MichiganAmbushOutdoors.com, please go over there. We do have some merch available, and your guys' purchases of that merch greatly supports this channel. And until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you on the next one.